Hello friends and crafters, welcome to my channel today. I have a Scrap Diva Designs design team project using this die right here, the Lip Balm Box die. And it was a lot of fun to create with. You can get it at Scrap Diva Designs at www.scrapdivadesigns.com. If you use Carol 10 at checkout, you get 10% off your entire order, or you can use Free Ship 75 for free shipping on your purchase of $75 or more. So I will also show you some other dies from Scrap Diva Designs that I used in creating this project. We are going to have a tutorial at the end. And I did use this from the retro foam die. I used these hearts right here to decorate the heart cutouts that are on this box. Okay, and I used this one right here, it says eat, sleep, craft, and repeat. And I used this word craft, even though this is, this will cut out as one piece, you can cut off these words to just use the word craft. So I used that one. I also used this one right here, which is the scalloped heart bow die. And this is the smaller one of the two. That is the all the dies that I use from Scrap Diva Designs in this project. I do have a few other dies that I will show you that I used. This is from AliExpress and I use this die right here behind my roses. This is the die that I used to create my roses and I use this size right here with this rolled rose center. And the die I'm going to show you that is from Surprise Creations is the one that I liked the best. And this is the one I'm using in the tutorial. You'll see this is a nesting die. And if you're using this to cut out a hole, it will uh, cut the, uh, imprint the little stitching around the hole. And if you use it as a nesting die, it will cut the stitching in your nesting circle. All right. So those are the dies that I used. I also did not bring the die here, but in my spell binders, I did use this little smallest oval that I have. So as you can see here, there's the craft that I cut and it looks perfect. It doesn't look like it had other words in it or around it, it came out perfect. So as you can see, this is the first one I made and I did use a different die to cut out the window. And this one was difficult to use, so I find the circle easier. And I love this little project. I am going to revisit this at Christmas time. And I'm actually going to put lip balm in it when you can get different flavors and give this like to a little preteen or uh, different things like that. And I have other ideas that I'll show you at Christmas time. So for this particular project, I did cut my cardstock on white, these little, the boxes on white, and then I use this one to cut my designer paper, and I use this to cut the window in my designer paper for this embellishment. And then I did use this one to cut the little gold trim embellishment around the window. This one I also used to put behind the word craft. All right, so that I used almost all the dies in there. I did not use this one this time around, but I may use that later. So this is what it looks like. So when you cut out a white card stock and you use the little trim, this is what it looks like. And it does have stitching in it, it's really cute. And I did cut acetate for my window so that my beads or whatever I put in here did stay inside and I just used some ribbon to tie it close. Here you can see the Scrap Diva Design scalloped bow, the flowers, and the word uh, craft. All right and then I'll show you the second one and this is the one that I liked the best so we're going to have the tutorial on this one. It does have the word craft this is the lace uh, background die it is from here, right there. And then, that, like I said, that was the spell binders. 
and the flowers. And when you open up, you can see that for this project, I did cut each one out on designer paper. And then I did put the little heart trim on the heart cutout. And even though this has bottles, I did still put in an acetate window. And then you can see the gold trim. And this is filled with seed beads and I do have one with uh, sequins. And you'd be surprised how heavy this is uh, with seed beads. It's pretty heavy, I was surprised. And let me go ahead and show you the bottles that I picked up. And they can be purchased at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, don't forget that. <laughs> They're not a dollar anymore. So this is it right here the mini glass containers, and they are the 0.5 fluid ounce. So let's go ahead and show you how to put the box together. So I've already cut out my pieces. So the bottom piece for your box is going to be six and a half by six and five eighths. And you are going to score one inch all around the outside edges. For your top piece, for your cover, you're going to cut one piece at 6 and 9 sixteenths by 6 and 11 sixteenths. And then to cover your top of your box, you're going to cut your designer paper 4 and a half by 4 and 5 eighths. And the easiest way to do the cutout is to go ahead and stick your paper in the center of your box so full after you score one inch or all the way around the top of your box you will see your score lines and then just adhere your designer paper right on top of that and then take it to your cutout machine and whatever you use to cut out and do your circle and cut out that circle because you can center it easiest that way. And then you're going to cut your acetate four and three eighths by four and a half and you'll adhere it to the inside of your box like you can see I did here. All right, and the last thing you need to do is for the front outside of your box, you're gonna need to cut your designer paper. And those measurements, you're gonna cut two at seven eighths by four and a half, and two at seven eighths by four and five eighths. And I will leave all the measurements below in the description box. So you're gonna take the bottom of your box and you are going to cut to the score line on either side here like that and just cut a little notch in your tab that you're going to fold over and glue. And I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Cut to the score line. Cut out a notch. So you have something that looks like this. All right, now we're going to go a little bit lower here. So go ahead and fold on all your score lines. I've already done that just to save time. And then you're going to glue your flaps to create your box. Now, if you would like to decorate the inside of your box, you're welcome to do so. I did not because it doesn't show once you get all the lip balm boxes in there. You do not have any space to see that you have a blank box. So I thought it was pointless to do that, but you're welcome to do it if you like it decorated. I will say that um, I did decorate the back, the bottom of my box. I did not bring the piece to do that. 
but it's the same uh, measurement that I gave you for the top designer paper, which is a four and a half by four and five eighths, if you would like to decorate the bottom outside of your box. So there we have the bottom of the box. And I have already done my little lip balm boxes. And this one here, I filled some Dollar Tree bottles with sequins. And I'm just going to lay these in my box. Like I said, they've already been decorated. And you can see they fit perfectly and they're nice and snug. All right, so we're gonna do the top of the box. And I did describe how I did all of that. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing as the bottom of the box. We're going to cut to the score line and create a little notch. So I did mention that we do not have internet service. I think it got knocked out Saturday night because we had uh, gale force winds and we went from having 80 degree weather on Friday to I think the temperature was 35 degrees in the morning, so, uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> okay, so now you've got it to look like this. Okay, and we're going to go ahead. I've already uh, folded on my score lines just to save time to, to not make this a long video. So we're going to glue all the tabs to create our cover. one here all right now we're going to take our designer paper and cover the bottom so this is going to be this side I've got one that's just an eighth of an inch longer than the other so just uh, be aware of that when you are putting these on. same size on the other side. Now if you want to use your circle punch and cut out some little finger holes to open your box, you're welcome to do so as well. I did not because I felt that my cover was good and that I could get it off easily. That's just another option for you. Tips and tricks, I guess you could call it. And I've got one more. You can see this box is pretty easy to put together and pretty quick. And you have a nice presentation for your lip balm boxes. And let's see, I think it goes this way, yep. Maybe not. <laughs> it's just a little, yeah, it's this way. It's just a little bit bigger on one side than the other. There we go. 
and you can see right here it's ready to be decorated so we're going to I've already created my bow and I use that color right there and we're going to hot glue this into the center of the box like that and then we're going to do our floral arrangement and I want to make it so that it hangs off a little bit on that side so we're going to put the two flowers here yep so I don't glue this piece down because my flowers are going to hold it there in the center and I'm going to put this one up against it now we're going to do the leaves My hot glue is still hot, so we're just going to push these in there. All right. So out of that set of the flowers, I used the two large leaves, and I'm putting a small leaf there so that it looks like that. Okay. And then the last piece is this, which I told you about the lace. This lace oval with the Spellbinder's smallest oval and then the word craft. We're just, I'm going to hot glue this as well. Right into the center on the bottom. As such. And that is complete and ready to give as a gift. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's such a lovely gift. So thank you all for watching me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you got some tips and tricks and liked the tutorial. Please leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. I appreciate your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Until next time, happy crafting, everybody. Bye-bye.